Hi folks, quick video tutorial on some Fusion 360. We're going to make that CNC machined aluminum bracket we're using in the Arduino stepper tutorial. So we've got both some good Fusion 360 tutorials and we're going to go through how I like to use chain tensioners by doing counter bores. Let's dive in. All right, we're going to start off with a line on the right plane here and click move up hit three inches enter come click that'll let you come over 0.25 enter we're making our oop, there we go click enter come down 2.75 2.75 enter click go over 2.75 click come down and you can complete that what we're doing here is making a piece of three inch aluminum angle so we'll do modify push pull Click on that guy and choose six inches. We'll do one more modify, which is a fillet, and this stuff has about a nine thirty seconds fillet on the inside. I also just mostly for for kicks did a fillet on the top edge right here of a quarter inch. Now, well, the trick is going to be putting in the stepper, the encoder, and then again those chain tensioners counter boards. So let's start with the stepper. We're going to do a circle sketch on the back plane. And that is a 0.88 inch circle. And it is one inch from the bottom, inch and a half over. We can do modify, click that, and then just type negative 0.25 to get us a through cut. And we can click on the back here. I'm still getting used to the navigating around. Part of it's because I've spent so much time in SolidWorks that I'm not used to Fusion 360, but it's just something's a little bit off to me. I'm, I think. They'll fix it or I'll learn, um, but overall, still love this software. It's, a, it's just like a no-brainer. That's the question we get from folks on, what do I do if I want to get into CNC and I want CAD and I want CAM? We need to create the, the box around it for the stepper to fit inside so it's recessed a little. So what we're actually going to do is create another circle on center there, and we're going to dimension that circle, 1.68, click OK, and then I'm going to click, choose select, and change that to construction. Then I'm going to create a rectangle here, you know, like so. Oops, I'll do that again and dimension it. That's another thing I'm getting used to. 1.68, oops, 0.68. Okay, now we've got a rectangle. Choose one line here and choose one line of the circle and hit, scroll down here to tangent, oops, there we go, and then choose the circle again, and this, this guy, did I get it, no, there we go, and choose tangent, there we go. Now you've created that box perfectly on center with the circle, I like it. We can do modify, press pull, click that, and we'll just do negative point one. So as you can see now, we've got our counterboard stepper pocket. We need to add a bolt hole pattern now for the stepper to fasten into. So same thing, we're going to do a circle and this is a 1.726 inch radius. I just happen to know these dimensions. The focus here is more on the CAD side than it is. You can pull dimensions off the parts that you've got. And same thing, we'll do choose it and say it's construction. And then we're going to make four holes. There may be a better way to do this, but we're getting it done this way. They're all point, oops, I gotta learn to stop doing that. 0.181, and I'm putting them approximately in place, but it doesn't have to be. You notice I am clicking them on the line. So when I click, when I start the circle, you get a, um, that little plus sign means it's, cross means they are all on the perimeter of the circle. Now, what I can do is select two of the points and choose horizontal vertical. Same thing for these two. And then same thing for these two. I think that's all I need. I don't know what I did, but easy to fix. Just click concentric and it looks like we've got that selected. So I'll select this one and boom, that's concentric. Now this is what's cool. Because we've created those relationships or constraints, if you, I think I should be able to drag these 
You can see how they stay on the line, but they maintain their horizontal and vertical relations. And then all I need to do is say, we know the distance between centers here is 1.22, 1.22, and now you have a perfectly placed four hole bolt pattern. We'll do modify, press pull, boom, 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 and negative 0.25 will get us all the way through. Ooh, then that's why I love CAD. It wouldn't get us all the way through because of that fillet at the bottom. So we can right click here and choose edit feature and we'll do negative 0.375. That should get us all the way through. Perfect. I think I actually also filleted these four. You can pick hidden edges in CAD too. So you just hover over and you'll find those edges. You don't need to always rotate all the way around. Counter bores, sketch, slot center point slot and we're going to do the first one as 0.25 inches and click and then you can drag this out and it actually is going to be 0.2 inches perfect next one instead of going back you can right click and say repeat center point slot click on the same center point drag it over i go way over just for because i like to see it over there then i'm going to do 0.255 and now you can click and this is going to be 0 0.378. Oops, 0.378. And now I've got the two counter bores. Press pull, click the center one, and do, we'll do negative 0.25. That'll go all the way through. Now we can do modify. Actually, I think we may have to expand our sketch thing here. Let's try. Modify. Well, there's no selection. So turn the light ball back on for that sketch. Now we can see that one, negative 0.1. Now you've got easily created a centered counter bore with one created on one sketch too, as we can see here. And we're done, so we can click the light bulb, turn that sketch back off. We did another video the other day showing how we create the dimensions between centers. So you can click on that link here if you want to watch more about that. Let's put a nut into that counter board slot in Autodesk. Thank you. Look at this, folks. Insert McMaster car component. Oh my god. Nut, hex nuts, thread size 1024. This one's fine. Go to click on the CAD and we'll just do save as step file. And there it is. Actually, it's kind of hidden. Oh my gosh. Now we can do an assembly, and this is where I'm just learning, but we do joint and we'll click on, let's click on this. Oops, let's not do it that way. Symbol, joint, click on that face, and then we'll click on that face, and we'll just space it off there, you know, two thou. And there's a w I'm sure there's a way to actually have it automatically uh, centered in there, which is really what I want, but you guys get the idea, and you can see this lets us slide that sl nut along there. Uh, amazing. So what we'll do... And if you didn't see this in the uh, Arduino video itself, but we'll use a shoulder bolt and then you can slide it along there to adjust either the position of a tensioner or the position of a, of a pulley itself. Awesome. Let's add that encoder real quick. New sketch here and we'll sketch a circle here. It's one inch, actually it's 1.01. We'll give it a few thou clearance. And the distance we said from here to here is 1.425. And then we'll sketch, go ahead and sketch our counter boards here just to show you how you can do it all in one sketch. This is 0.48. And we've got some two holes that are also 0.3543 times 2. Perfect. And this one will change to construction. And we'll then put the circle holes on. Actually, we'll just show you. We'll put it on here. So these are 0.15 inch. And we'll click on select and we'll just choose one, two, three, horizontal, vertical. Ooh, didn't like that. There we go. Guess you can't do all three at once. Okay, now modify, press pull. Negative 0.25, that's all the way through. Modify, press pull. Turn that sketch back on. We'll do these. Actually, we could have done those as, as the same press pull all the way through. And last but not least, we'll say negative 0.1 and turn that back off. 
And there you have it, folks. So that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed that. Inserting components, awesome. Integrated cam, awesome. If you guys want to see cam, we can go through that on this as well. Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, folks, hope you enjoyed it. I'm super excited. We'll be back for more. As I mentioned, we're going to do DC motor controllers with some higher torque DC motors and rotary encoders for feedback positioning. Should be fun, folks. Take care. See you soon.